Now, linguine white clam sauce is an Italian favorite of all times. I kind of modified it a little bit. Uh, I used uh, uh, fettuccine, uh, some leeks, some uh, zucchini, and a touch of tomatoes. So let's begin with the sauce. A nice wide pan. You want to be able to put the pasta in here and toss it. Garlic, what are we gonna do? Maybe I'll crush it because I have so much going on that I'll still get a lot of flavor out of it, so just whacking it. Let's begin with that. A zucchini. I used it in two recipes. Uh, it's such a convenient uh, vegetable. It's a vegetable, it's year-round, and it's economical. Get the small ones, don't get the big ones. You don't want all the season there. I'm gonna put in the zucchini. A little bit of salt. A little peperoncino. And I'm putting it now because it toasts a little bit with the zucchini and uh, toasting any spice gives, brings more flavor. But keep that in mind, nuts, spices, toasted, bring all the oils and the flavors out. Let's add the leeks. While that is cooking away, let me put the, the pasta to cook. You know, a nice large pot. I always tell you the pasta needs to kind of dance in there. Salted water, no oil. You want the roughness of the pasta. I said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. You want the roughness of the pasta because the sauce adheres to it. If you put oil or if you rinse your pasta, you kind of get rid of that, so. Shapes of pasta are very important with the sauces that you match it. The skinny, long pasta, uh, oily sauces, uh, clam sauces, uh, uh, all of those kind of uh, flowing, slippery sauces uh, with, with parsley and oil go great. So you don't want to overcook it because you want some of the texture of the zucchini at the end. You know, you, you don't want to mush zucchini, you want a little texture. Crushed tomatoes. Uh, I always get the whole, uh, you know, don't get the puree or chopped tomatoes and all of that. You can see it's a nice plum tomatoes, nice meaty, you know, that's what you want. Okay. What am I missing? Can you guess? Salt, little final salt. So I'm going to cover this, this on, let this simmer a little bit, and clams. This is a little neck clam, and this is a good tip. If you put them in the freezer about a half an hour before you shuck them, they kind of open up. The ideal way of opening a clam or shucking a clam is you nestle it there nice and strong, and you have the shucking knife and you put it right in there. And then with your finger, you pressure it right in. You cut that muscle. You want to do it over a strainer so you collect all the juice. We collect the whole clam. And we put the clam right here, whole. The clam sauce. So this is the basic sauce. This is the clam juice that we saved, the fresh clam juice that we saved. Let's put it right in. And see, when you get to the end, you see that set there, that little collection? That you do not throw in. You save those little uh, shells or, or sand or whatever, and you don't want to use that. Mm -mm. So this can get a boil. Let me check the pasta. Absolutely, it's done. A little bit al dente. So now we throw in all of the clams. Two minutes, the clams are done. You want that. And we'll bring all this to a boil. By the time we toss the pasta and everything, the clams will be perfect. So don't worry so much, oh, I gotta cook the clams now. We're fine. Trust me. Fish out 
the pasta, put them right in the sauce. Okay. I am fishing everything out here. Fold it in. Let the pasta absorb. The clams are still nice and tender and just about cooked. You know what? Just a little last touch in the Lydia fashion, in the Italian fashion, not Lydia fashion. Okay. Okay, so I think that this is fine. So let's take it off the fire. So you know you see those nice little mounds that chefs do. It's really easy. Make sure that you don't dribble everything. Go to the center, put it down, and then turn the plate so it makes that mound for you. Let's go for some of the sauce and the clams. A little chiffonade of basil. 